Powerful AI models like ChatGPT or DALI are super useful and fun to use. But what when they are wrong? What if they lie to you without even knowing they are lying? Often called hallucinations, these problems can be very harmful, especially when we blindly trust the AI. We should be able to trace back and explain how those AI models make decisions and generate results. To illustrate this, let's look at a very simple example. You are a research scientist aiming to build a model able to classify images, which means identifying what is the main object in the image. You gather a couple of images of different objects and train an algorithm to understand what makes a cat a cat, a dog a dog, and etc. You now expect your model to be able to identify those objects from a picture and publish it on your website for anyone to use. Before doing so, you test it just to make sure it performs well. Here, we see the model is pretty accurate. It actually found that they were images of animals, and more precisely, it even found it was a cat, a dog, and a shark. Cool. Time to push it online, and your job is done. Well, that is actually far from it. What if your model was just lucky? Or worse, it is making decisions based on completely unrelated parts of the image. This is where a very important topic comes into play, explainability. For instance, let's take a look at what this model focused on here using an approach called a saliency map. The saliency map shows what part of the image the model focuses its attention on by attributing more weight to it. Looking at this map, you see that the model isn't focusing on the right features but fails confidently. Here we see the pixels that affected the model's decision the most, which aren't even on the shark. The top right corner with the water confidently identified a killer shark. If we hide it from the image and rerun the model, we now see the correct grey-white shark identified. I don't know the two species enough to say if this is a grave mistake or not, but you can see how a model can confidently fail thanks to image features that aren't relevant at all. Here, we could fix the problem by hiding those parts, but this was thanks to the saliency map that helped us understand the model's decision process and its bias towards the water. And now, imagine an AI that controls your future self-driving car making decisions because of completely unrelated objects on the road or in the sky. I wouldn't be comfortable sitting in a car that couldn't tell me why it decided to accelerate or brake. Luckily, there are techniques and companies that focus on this important issue, like TensorLeap, which provides an easy-to-use interface for interpreting your model's results and decisions using applied explainability techniques. Actually, TensorLeap is sponsoring this video because they want to help the community understand the power of applied explainability in creating models that can be trusted, particularly when accuracy is mission-critical. Explainability AI, also known as XAI, or Interpretability in Artificial Intelligence, aims at demystifying the black box behind the decision-making process of AI models through various techniques. As we will see, this is TensorLeap's goal, and if you are building models, it should be yours too. Or at least, you should be using tools that others build to do that. It's worthwhile even when compromising on accuracy. Being able to justify and explain your decision is very important. Think of a researcher that couldn't explain their conclusion. Would you trust it? This is why we do theorems and experiments, to have proof and a solid foundation for our beliefs. AI is the same. Understanding where the results come from makes the model much more valuable. Explainability also reduces the need for tons of experiments and the need for lots of manual tasks in order to identify and resolve issues to get better results. In short, the goal here is to demystify the black box behind AI models, which is also my goal with this channel. How fitting. We already saw one of such approaches used with models dealing with images, saliency maps. But there are many other approaches allowing you to better understand your model's decisions even if it's dealing with complicated data that aren't images of dogs and cats, which I'd love to dive in in future videos if that's interesting to you. Please let me know in the comments. Now, let's have a look at a specific and applied example using TensorLeap that you can actually use to build better models in the real world. Here's a simple application of a real model classifying dogs, cats, along with pandas this time. TensorLeap's tool automatically extracted the model's latent space and displayed the clusters where we can see the classes separated with different colors found by the model. 
We can then easily look into our results. For instance, let's focus on the green points, which represent our images of pandas. We can easily visualize them and their according loss and the same kind of saliency map we discussed to see if there was anything wrong. Just like here, you can see this is clearly not a panda. So why was it classified as a panda? In this detailed view, you can see that the model has given a high probability to even more samples being pandas. So what's happening to our model? Why is it so blatantly failing to split cats and dogs away from pandas? By simply looking at each of the samples, we see that there is either grass or other green elements in the background. The model appears to be overfitting to this background context. Our model lacks the capacity to generalize and has learned from the contextual information that when there is green or grass in the sample, it's a panda. Now that we know that, we know our model needs to be improved. Probably because it lacked images of pandas in this case. And more precisely, of pandas without green elements on the screen so that the model doesn't automatically classify using the background information. After improving it by adding more images of pandas with different backgrounds, we can see a much nicer latent space as we would expect to see. A clear separation between pandas, cats and dog samples that we didn't have initially, easily showcasing the improvement of the model. Now, if we want to make sure that this kind of mistake doesn't happen anymore, we can easily check what our model focused its attention on using the saliency maps. TensorLeap automatically produces these heat maps, showcasing which features have the most impact on the prediction and loss, confirming the model is focusing on the right features for cats and dogs, like their ears or faces, instead of grass or a random element in the background. And here's just to confirm that we no longer misclassify dogs with green backgrounds thanks to our better model, which we could easily visualize with the tool. We can now qualitatively validate that we resolved the model weakness, something that is often quite hard to do or even overlooked by lots of people due to its complexity or time consumption, whereas it is automatic and super friendly user with TensorLeap. I hope this clear example using their tool helped illustrate how important it is to take the time to explain the predictions of your model, and not only quantitatively, but also qualitatively. Classifying cats and pandas might not be problematic, especially because we rarely see both at the same place and time, but such model predictions based on the wrong feature of the image on other tasks like cancer diagnosis can lead to huge consequences. This is a very exciting field that I hope more researchers will get into, allowing us to build more reliable models that we actually understand and trust. Hopefully, this video might motivate at least one more person to investigate their model's decision-making process a little bit more and implement explainability techniques in their testing and validation pipeline. Just like software developers have many tools to ensure that their code is safe to deploy before doing so. I hope you've enjoyed this video in partnership with TensorLeap and I invite you to try out their platform if you are also working with models, whatever the modality and task you are tackling. I personally really like their tool and team and I recommend that you check them out with the first link below as they ultimately have the same goal as I have, demystifying artificial intelligence. Also, let me know if you'd like more videos on a topic like covering some approaches more in depth or an interview with an expert from their team. I think it's a very important subfield of AI that I personally used a lot during my master's research and still now during my PhD. Thank you for watching.